Um. Yeah, Luke was like twenty twenty one. Whereas Harrison was thirty one or thirty four or something like that. They're stubborn, Balin. But when the flagship is ready, the rest of the White Maw will follow. We... who's that? Someone who can't take a hint. I was hoping you'd be here for this. See? Some in the White Maw see that I'm the future. When this ship is raised, I'll have a whole planet of followers. You're no pirate lord. You're just a thief with a set of healing armor. Who wiped out dozens of your soldiers. The White Maw is mine. Along with this ship. When she takes to the sky, the outer rim is gonna tremble before. What the? <laughs> nice, Valen. No, no, you can't do this. I'm untouchable. Even death can't take me. This blind faith in your armor has poisoned your mind. It's not too late to save yourself. You're the one who needs saving. You're finished, Jedi. No, you. Look, I win. Well, supposedly that is where they're starting, is uh, with Luke restarting the order. It's... it's gone. You broke... That's music to my ears. Hello, Valon. I've been waiting for this since we buried Antilles. Just hold on, Jedi. I got a deal for you. Hear me out. You're hardly in a position to try anything. Speak. Your Rift Alliance needs help, right? I got men, ships, equipment. I could attack the Empire's trade routes for you. You would better be joking. The armor's broken. But you get the pick of what I got left. You can have my oath right now. You must answer for the men you killed. And that means you finally get to enjoy some Republic hospitality, Valon. Thank you, Jedi, for everything. Meet us back at the Republic base. We'll get our guest where he belongs. Oh, I'm sure they'll follow the books in the typical, somewhat loose fashion. But yeah, I, I'm sure the books are the uh, blueprint for what they'll be uh, following.
But you never know. We'll see what happens. Starts on Yevin four, doesn't he? Yeah. But Yavin 4 is also the tomb of a dark lord, so... Starts with a dark temple, not a. Yeah, their old base. Why did I do that? I should just let him go. Hold on there, Master Jedi. Put down the lightsaber and let's talk for a moment. Nobody else in this place has wanted to stop and chat? My crew is a bit, um, over-eager at times. I'll speak to them about it, I assure you. The survivors, anyway. It so happens that I can give you what you came for without any more of that unpleasant killing business. You want the Republic super weapon? Look around you. This hangar is filled with copies of it. One for every ship in our fleet. How is such a thing even possible? The Republic doesn't have a monopoly on clever engineers. I propose a trade. You leave here with the weapons, and we leave here with our lives. That's fair, don't you think? I'm pleased that we could reach an agreement. My people will... Reinforcements have arrived! I see. 
stalling until your people were ready to attack. The situation was under control. You didn't have to barge in here. Don't think we'll go quietly. <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> okay, creepy laugh. Didn't quite work out there. Figures it didn't put me out of battle. It couldn't have gone worse unless the planet exploded in a massive fireball. At least we'd be warm for that fraction of a second before we all died. I'd better call in and report. Aaron, that you? Heavy fire. It's a lot of interference. What status? Sir, we have the null cannon, but there's been a complication. What was the... Breaking up. Secure for immediate... Blast it! I can't get the signal back. Now what do we do? We were sent in here for the Null Cannon, and now we get it out of here. We were sent here for one Null Cannon. Singular. Not dozens. The forces we have can just about hold this hangar long enough to get the prototype out of here, but the rest of these copies... The other pirates will get here soon, and once they have a weapon that can disable a capital ship, how many innocent people will die? I don't even want to think about pirates armed with Null Cannons. Neither do I. The only way to keep the copies out of the pirates' hands is to overload the Null Cannon prototype. Wipe out everything in the hangar at once. The prototype would be fried, but I'd rather spend months fixing it than live knowing that even one of these copies was left behind. You're right. We can't let even one of these copies fall into the wrong hands. Stand back. That should do it. I'll go ahead and get the transport ready. I'll see you back at camp. <sighs> Yay! Let's go turn this crap in. So I've been called Bugs Bunny and now Krusty the Clown today? Alright, I see how it is. Excellent work. I knew we could trust you to fry those computers. It's good to know who the Republic can count on. I'll be sure to put in a word for you with command. I'm just happy that the Republic's secrets are safe. That makes two of us. I can't stress how important your efforts have been. You've kept the Republic's secrets out of the pirates' hands, 
and the empires. Thanks to you, we can rest easier tonight. <laughs> no, I don't care. Uh, yeah, not really done with Hoth. I wish I was done with Hoth, but not really done with Hoth. Oops, wrong button. Again, doesn't bother me. Don't care. <laughs> Just making you guys feel bad. For no reason at all. Just because I can. It's a shame about the prototype. Blasted pirates must have mucked it up. It's already been shot, smashed, and frozen. I'm sure the null cannon can be repaired again. It's a setback, but we'll recover. I'm not about to let one little explosion stand between us and victory. You've hit the Empire where it hurts today. I've already contacted Republic Command. They know what you've done for us here, and I'll make sure the Senate knows it too. Four Eyes? What is this, the 1930s? Will you be leaving Hoth immediately? Soon. I don't have to tell you how much I'm looking forward to frying some Imperial starships. We'll have the Null Cannon up and running in no time. You ought to come back and see her in action. It's going to take months, sir. Maybe a year. Engineers, always predicting the worst. Mark my words, we will have that null cannon shooting Imperials out of the sky before you know it. You did good work here. If I had a dozen men like you, this war would be over already. Okay, sir. You haven't sent a word yeah, yeah I, I realize you wear glasses. I wear glasses. What I'm saying is the insult for eyes. The old cruiser? That's the one. I know it. The deliverance. Radiance. My brother served on you it. You are cleared for the following Went down travel with it. No way. Yeah, like seeing a ghost. Be safe out there. Wait, that's in there? Oh, he's all the way back there. Okay. Jedi, we've been waiting for you. We wanted to thank you before we left. We owe you our lives, and I probably owe you my career. It was worth it all to see Valon stuffed in a convict shuttle. It was an honor to work alongside you. Go well. Oh, forgot. The LT got a call. He's gone up to your starship to make a report. He said he'd meet you there. Whatever anyone says, you're one of us now, Jedi. Best of luck. Yay, I'm part of a useless group of troopers. What any girl could wish for. I take it your name is Bruce, so people make fun of Bruce, just say Bruce Leroy. Most badass character <laughs> ever. Or Bruce Campbell, for crying out loud. Plenty of great clear Bruce the people. Travel routes. Let's get back to our ship. Uh, we 
can get rid of these. <laughs> I mean, you could always go my route. I mean, people used to call me Josephine. You know how many people I had to punch in the face for that to stop? One. Not that I, uh... <laughs> I'm telling you that the violent path is the best path, but... Sometimes when confronted with an asshole, you gotta be a dick. And why is the stream dead? Or is it just me? There it is. Kind of. It's at least caught up. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was a few more days. And I'm not really worried about 50. I'd be happy with 49 and the end of chapter 3. Dude's already on my ship, isn't he? Oh, whatever. No, on my uh, screen it it uh, stalled out. On the web page, anyway. Quite a story, Jedi. If we'd known the pirates had such technology, at least you were there to make the mission a success. Nagula ji wanta humpa muli ra wata wampa. He was at my mercy. The Jedi Code required I spare him for judgment. Yuna liska chananga wa chi kospa ini kontika. We're forgetting someone. Good work, Lieutenant Ereso. We'll make sure the Republic rewards you before you're reassigned. Actually, sir, as a reward, you could persuade my superiors to assign me here, if that's okay. It'd be an honor to serve with you. Plus, an extra blaster never goes amiss, right? There's most certainly a place for you here, Lieutenant. Thanks. That's a 
warmer reception than I've had in a while. Excellent. It's settled then. I'm sorry. Could you excuse us for a moment? Why the hell did Thurax give me a negative response for that? You mentioned someone on Hoth was sending the Empire information about you. Have you discovered who it was? I think it was someone on board. Since I found that monitoring device, I've been watching our communications. I spotted a message to the Empire in amongst other messages while the channels were busy. But I can't trace who sent it. <laughs> the monitoring device? The messages? Lord Kairos' inside knowledge. Our traitor can work our communication system. Perhaps someone has communications experience they haven't disclosed? Alani can handle a dozen messages at once. Maybe it's her. No, no. Alani sticks to her personal channel. Ty only got a call or two before he left. Duan never speaks to anyone. A Selkath could easily avoid suspicion after what the Empire did to them. Hmm. Maybe before attestation. But now Shuru won't hear a word against you. You know, Blasis gets an awful lot of work from the Aragorn bureaucracy, and a lot of calls. Wait, when you were on Hoth, and someone leaked those messages, Blasis was sending reports everywhere. What if he alerted the Empire then? Even if Blasis isn't responsible, he could point us in the right direction. Wait here. I'll see where he's got to. No, it couldn't be Blasis. I just sent him on a mission. I meant to surprise you, Nadia. King Sethan and Queen Niska themselves are donating a regiment to the Republic. This king and queen are your homeworld's rulers? Yes, yes, that's right. The royal family wanted to heal relations between the Rift Alliance and the Republic. They thought donating troops would help. They planned a ceremony on Waypoint Station 3 to present you with the soldiers. But you were needed on Hoth, so I sent Blasis as our envoy. He's with the King and Queen right now. Tell the Royals to stay with their soldiers until I arrive. There's no answer. Jedi, what have I done? I'll contact Ty. His droids could guard the Royal Family until we get there. Be sure he knows our suspicions, just in case. Will do, Jedi. Let's go. A trap? What's that? What's a trap? <laughs> uh, waypoint Station 3. 